Let me out. Let me out. This is not a dance. Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer. Every breath I take without your permission raises my self-esteem. Listen, I'm not the nicest guy in the universe because I'm the smartest and being nice is something stupid people do to hedge their bets. I'm looking around this place and I'm starting to work up some anxiety about this whole thing. All right, all right, calm down. Listen to me, Morty. I know that new situations can be intimidating. You're looking around and it's all scary and different, but you know, meeting them head on, charging right into them like a bull. That's how we grow as people. I'm no stranger to scary situations. I deal with them all the time. Now, if you just stick with me, Morty, we're gonna be- Holy crap, Morty, run! Listen, Morty, I hate to break it to you, but what people call love is just a chemical reaction that compels animals to breed. It hits hard, Morty, then it slowly fades, leaving you stranded in a failing marriage. I did it. Your parents are gonna do it. Break the cycle, Morty. Rise above. Focus on science. I feel like I've spent my life pretending you're a great guy and trying to be like you. And the ugly truth has always been... That I'm not that great a guy and you're exactly like me. Am I evil? Worse. You're smart. When you know nothing matters, the universe is yours. And I've never met a universe that was into it. The universe is basically an animal. It grazes on the ordinary. Creates infinite idiots just to eat them. Not unlike your friend Timmy. Tommy. Yeah, hardly matters now, sweetie. You know, smart people get a chance to climb on top, take reality for a ride. But it'll never stop trying to throw you. And eventually it will. There's no other way off. Listen to your sister, Morty. To live is to risk it all. Otherwise, you're just an inert chunk of randomly assembled molecules drifting wherever the universe blows you. Listen, Jerry, I, I don't want to overstep my bounds or anything. It's your house. It's your world. You're a real Julius Caesar. But I'll tell you, so tell you how, how I feel about school, Jerry. It's a waste of time. Bunch of people running around, bumping into each other. Got guy up front says two plus two. The people in the back say four. Then the, then the bell rings. They give you a carton of milk and a piece of paper that says you can go take a dump or something. I mean, it's, it's not a place for smart people, Jerry. I know that's not a popular opinion. That's my two cents on the issue. Okay, well, sometimes science is more art than science, Morty. A lot of people don't get that. Are you going to... I mean, you know, is this the first part of some kind of magic trick? I don't do magic, Morty. I do science. One takes brains, the other takes dark eye. Genius happens in the moment, Morty. Well, can we at least go get our family? You know, so we can take them with, with, the, with us if we lose? That's planning for failure, Morty. Even dumber than regular planning. Balls. What is my purpose? You pass butter. Oh my god. Yeah, welcome to the club, pal. I guess I gotta learn how to live in the moment a little more. Oh boy, so you actually learned something today? What is this, full house? I was living in the moment all day and it kept getting me killed by Nazis. I think you have to think ahead and live in the moment. You want to come here? Because I don't respect therapy. Because I'm a scientist. Because I invent, transform, create, and destroy for a living. And when I don't like something about the world, I change it. And I don't think going to a rented office in a strip mall to listen to some agent of averageness explain which words mean which feelings has ever helped anyone do anything. I think it's helped a lot of people get comfortable and stop panicking which is a state of mind we value in the animals we eat, but not something I want for myself. I'm not a cow. I'm a pickle when I feel like it, so you ask. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got pancakes back home with syrup on top of them. They're about to hit that critical point of syrup absorption that turns the cakes into a gross paste. And I hate to get all Andy Rooney about it, but I think we all like fluffy discs of cake with syrup on top, and I think we also like to be accused of crimes when there's evidence. So as they say in Canada, Peace, ooh! Makes you think, huh, Morty? We should never take things for granted. What? I'm just saying, life's short. We shouldn't take things for granted. Are you saying granite? Well, yeah. It's granted! With a D! Take things for granted! Did you actually think it was... <laughs> Jesus Christ, Rick! What are you, a boulder rock person? How long have you been saying that rock? together, aren't you? Morty, I need your help on an adventure. Uh, need is a strong word. We need doorstops, but a brick would work too. Okay. Um... Don't break your back creating a lesson, Morty. It's a freeform anthology. I'm getting annoyed you're not hearing that. As you can see around me, your mind's been blown countless times, and not always by yourself. Don't waste your brain on those weirdos, Unity. They're no different from any of the aimless chumps that you occupy. They just put you at the center of their lives because you're powerful, and then because they put you there, they want you to be less powerful. Never gonna happen, though, right? Nick, you know this whole time, I haven't once heard you say that wubble of a dub dub thing that you usually say? Don't need to. I have a, <coughs> a new catchphrase. Oh, yeah? W what's that, Rick? I love my grandkids. Aww. Psych. Just kidding. My new catchphrase is, I don't give a f***. Just shake that ass, bitch, and let me see what you got. Just shake that ass, bitch, and let me see what you got. Just shake that ass, bitch, and let me see what you got. Just shake that ass, bitch, and let me see what. Just shake that ass, bitch, and let me see what you got. Just shake that ass, bitch, and let me see what.